What's up guys, this is Ms. 11 here for Assassin's Creed Unity. Assassin's Creed Unity blends a lot of key features in the video game market. It blends in good combat, good graphics, good story, and pretty damn good multiplayer. Um, as, you keep out, as you can see by this footage, I'm just chilling. This is a customization of the game. Now you can actually give your character and as an Assassin's Creed 4 outfit, Edward Kenway's outfit, which is really cool. Now he's the online co-op. Online co-op in the game is absolutely awesome. I'm not going to lie. It is freaking awesome. At the moment, we're just doing free mode with my main man, Wogboy. But, yeah, um, it is very laggy. But the simple addition of... Being able to be in the same game lobby and just running around in Assassin's Creed Unity is great from Assassin's Creed 4, where it was open lobby in maps like Call of Duty. So it's great to have an open world feel where you can meet your friends, you know, have a good time, go to the pub and stuff. It is actually really brilliant. You can compare your outfits, um, you can compare your weapons, stuff like that. I do think it's really brilliant. Here I'm just showcasing the uh, open um, free running of the game it is awesome you can just go from one building to another you can go all the way across France by doing what I'm doing now it's just awesome I think I think that this is one of the key um, the key features of Assassin's Creed Unity um, it's just awesome it's like Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag it's not as good as Assassin's Creed 4's free running but it is really 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 good um, Assassin's Creed 4 had better uh, swift emotions of, uh, the, of Edward Kenway moving, as this one, it's slightly a bit delayed, but, yeah, I, I do think that this feature of being able to meet your mates is awesome, um, and I definitely think it should be included in Assassin's Creed Syndicate coming out this year. My friend is actually all the way across the city, so I'm just running over to try and get him. Then once we're together, we'll start up um, a mission. Now, this is um, co-op gameplay of a mission. Um, the mission is four stars. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's, it's just an awesome mission. Um, you basically have to go in. It's a heist, actually. You have to go in, steal some stuff, but you lose money if you kill people like I am now. So, um, this is a good feature of the game, because it can differentiate between good players and bad players, but it is definitely really annoying, especially with the glitches in online. As you can see, I'm kicking him, and then it's just incredibly glitchy, um, and the frames per second in online are not good at all. The glitchiness of it is just out of this world. See, look how glitchy this gameplay is. I'm just going normally, and it's just really 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 bad i do not recommend this game for multiplayer if you're playing with four people i honestly don't it is not good it's not fluid and it's not made well for online it's more of a single player game here you can go ledge top takedowns just like any other assassin's creed game except it's on turbo power um the good thing about this game the new addition is that as I said before, the combat is awesome. It's a lot harder than it was before. In Assassin's Creed 4, you had two swords. You just used to cane people. Um, but with this one, it is definitely a lot harder. And also, a good feature of this is that you can disguise as one of the AI uh, members. See, this, this is a different sort of multiplayer. You're not versing other human people. You're versing the game itself. So... Um, that that's why like you're you're in a group. It's co-op. It's it's totally different, and I absolutely love online. It is brilliant. It's way better than the Call of Duty system that Assassin's Creed Four had, and it, it's it's really good. Um, the only as I said before, the only thing that I have uh that's wrong with it is the lagginess and the glitchiness, and the fact that it takes over three minutes to get in a full loaded game session. Um. Uh, that, that is definitely not a good feature, but good thing is you're not wasting time in an actual lobby. With this game, you can actually go, um, you can do your own thing, you know, upgrade the social club and stuff like that while you're waiting for the game to load, which I think is genuinely awesome. Um, and then, yeah, the free running's pretty good, um, up buildings, um, 
See, uh, the parkour, it, it is very... It, it's kind of expected in an Assassin's Creed game, though. If you're going to buy Assassin's Creed, you'd want that. Now, here I'm picking a lock. This, this is a new feature. It's a lot harder in this game. You have a small little leeway. I'm a bit of a master at it now. Oh, whoops. Just messed up. But I'm a bit of a master at it now. But it is definitely a key element of this game. And, um... Yeah, it, uh, you actually do need to use it for online, so you, you got to make sure that you're skilled enough in the game to be able to complete online tasks. Also, the jumping is good. Still a bit of, uh, a little bit laggy. I was actually lucky in this game session because um, I wasn't laggy because my internet is quite good. But you guys, if you have not that good internet, you might get low ping rates, which are not good for a game like this. You can sneak up behind people. This is the laggy part. Someone next to you kills someone. Then you run up to the person next to him and they don't get alerted. I don't think that that is good for a game like this. This is built on stealth and being skilled. You don't have to be skilled. All you have to do is run up to someone and not, and uh, whack them with your hidden blade from behind. It's just bad. Now here's a single player gameplay. Now it's just loading. The loading time is okay for single player, but a little bit longer than expected. It's actually quite long for a single player game. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is much faster, but I do like the improved cutscenes. They are really good. He's actually got his own mind for once. Like, you actually have to think of completing single player tasks now. Like, what way you're going to go, because this game offers a brilliant new way of playing Assassin's Creed Unity. It, um,. It brings in um, multi-entry, uh, you know, building entries for the game. So you have to choose which part, which uh, spot is better and which key points are more detrimental to complete before other parts. So I'm actually breaking into a castle sort of place now. And I think that this is pretty cool. We've had this in the second and the first game, oh not the first game actually, but the second, the haystack is used extremely well in this game, um, in that you can actually use it properly for once, you can leap down from far heights, but unfortunately you don't actually, uh, that isn't the primary way of losing authorities or policemen or guards or anything, the primary way is actually just free running away, so I don't quite like this feature to be honest. I would much prefer to have haystacks, just like the original, but what can you do? Uh, Ubisoft have decided to include that, so you got to live with it if you like Assassin's Creed. And they've also introduced a new Phantom Blade, which I'm using right now. It's good for headshots, uh, also good for body shots, but as you can see, I just got detected from it, so it, it's not the best. I would still recommend using a pistol for pure damage, but no stealth factor to it, and it is also... Not a good way to play Assassin's Creed, because Assassin's Creed is meant to be a stealthy game. It's not meant to be a gun-wielding game. And since it's Assassin's Creed, it doesn't forget to include the gold loot boxes. Um, so, But in this one, you have to actually pick the locks. So you got to go three, three pins. Quite easy once you get the hang of it, but extremely hard if you're just first starting off the game. See, it's, it's easy, it takes about 5 seconds, yet uh, sometimes 5 grand, that's how I got so rich in this game. 2 grand, that, that's not too bad. Uh, you can't run up on most buildings, which is also very annoying, but I can live with that because it is meant for skill, um, skilled players, so, you know what I mean? I, I would much prefer to have this game skill orientated rather than uh, fun, you know, it, purely enjoyable for... Amateur players. I would much prefer to have an Assassin's Creed that is enjoyable. And with this one, the best feature ever in introduced into Assassin's Creed was actually being able to enter windows and buildings, which they've included in this one. They did include it in, in Assassin's Creed 4, but you used to have to go through a load screen. With this one, you just, you just hop in and then you're done. No loading screens, none of that. And like I said before, glitchy as hell. I was just right next to that guy and he didn't notice me. How unrealistic is that? This is why this game definitely disappoints me compared to other games. But Assassin's Creed 4 was just as glitchy and just as easy as this game. So, I mean, what can we expect? Ubisoft has chosen that route instead of Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed 2 route. So, we just got to live with that for now. Hopefully, the new game coming out this year, Syndicate, will be a lot better. But, 
I doubt it. A review will be coming out as soon as that comes out as well. But, see, look at this. They, they caught me. But look how easy this is. I can still stealth attack them even after they've caught me. How stupid is that? Ubisoft, they've made two different aspects. They've made an extremely hard uh, extremely hard part of this game, and they've also made an extremely easy part. It doesn't make any sense to me. They've made the step... They've made it easy, uh, the combat's harder, and it's harder to be stealthy, but yet they've made it hard for them to catch you when you've not, you've not used stealthy rules. And again, here's glitchy combat. This guy's good though, he's, he's a skilled player, but I still took him out in a few shots. Even this guy, it's, it's not difficult enough for me. This is on hard, um, hard difficulty as well. These cutscenes are probably the best, where they show the storyline and the bit of background information on the villains of the game. I do definitely like this, but now it's time for the verdict. Now, this game is brilliant in many, 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 many ways. One of them is graphically, it's brilliant. Storyline, brilliant. Character development, brilliant. Brilliant, um... Story length, 10 to 12 hours, is also brilliant. And um, and the free running slash fluid motions are brilliant in the game as well. But it does have its downsides. It is an extremely glitchy game, especially in online. You get a lot of bugs, a lot of glitches, a lot of people killing you just because the game froze on you. And I don't think that's acceptable in a $60 game to have that type of... That type of um, glitch, glitchiness in a game. It's just not right. So, all in all, I'm going to have to give it a 7 out of 10. I would have given it a 9 out of 10. But, that those points are just really, really, really bad. They, they just bring the game down 